Anthony Schlegel, Bobby Carpenter, this is how you should strike the difference. Notice how Bobby's in a athletic position. Chest up, eyes up, shoulder blades are retracted, the, the rhomboids are engaged, the scaps are protracted, got a good reverse arc. He's ready to strike. Hands are ready, elbows are in, thumbs up. Notice how the pad is shaped. It's not because it resembles a person, but it's because your hands are supposed to be placed on each side of it. Thumbs up, elbows in, shoot the hands. Okay, Bobby hit it a couple times. Notice how Bobby doesn't lean into it. He's not leading with his face. He's not leading with his chest. He's engaging his upper body and shooting his hands forward, striking the machine. Two more times, Bobby. Good. As you can see, the, the curvature here, when you want the hand strike placement, thumb up, inside, nice natural grip. It's a nice form fit there. It's right at the center of the axle in the back to allow it to drive through for best resistance and best usage. Uh, keep the elbows in, shoulder down. For increased safety, you take the tension off of the joints right there. That's the way you want to strike it. Nice and linear progression. Don't want the elbows out. Don't want the hands in like that. Put, a, put pressure on the shoulder, pressure on the elbow, pressure on the wrist. Everything now is linear for maximum power and maximum safety.